Well, here we are again, folks. It's Brother Peter with Tidbits from the Word. If you um, would like to see some more of these that were done on the 20th of May by sight, what you can do is you can surf through them. And this particular shirt that I have on today is the day that I'm wearing this shirt to do these, the 20th of May excerpts. And what I'm doing today is I've been talking about this man, his name was Adrian Rogers, who died and went to heaven. And um, I did not know him personally, and I've said this before in these, but if you're, you want to see some more about uh, what I'm talking about here, I'm talking about a man that left a legacy. And the legacy he left is for you and me. And this legacy is some books, some writings, some preaching, some teaching. He was a man of God. I said this before, I'll say it again. Uh, uh, I'm not being paid for this or anything. I didn't even know the man. I didn't know him personally. I didn't know where he was. I don't know where he preached from. I don't know what state he was from. I don't know when he was born. I don't know anything about him. I do know this. I followed his work for years and years, as well as the Bible. And he has led me to a place in life to where I understand some words, and I know how now to... Take the words of God, some of them, and I've learned through his demeanor and what he said how to live. And he's got me through some humps. I've had some days, it were tough days. But right here I have in my hand uh, a book written by him that's a daily devotion. It's about a 60 minute, 60 second thing in the morning, or at most three minutes it would take you to read one of them. Uh, many people will not read the Bible. I don't know why. I mean, they say they're saved, and they say they're Christian, but they won't read the Bible. But this little devotion would be good to kickstart you. But he always starts it with a Bible verse, and everything he ever did he preached was always with a Bible verse. And uh, I like to promote good books. i am i am uh, been saved since uh, 1972. I was 30 years old when I got saved. Couldn't read when I got saved. I had to learn how, how to read. Ever since then, I've bought books, bought books, bought books. i got libraries full of books. Have I read all those books? No, I haven't. I tell my wife, she said, don't buy another book, please. And I say, well, i got to buy it because I'm going to use it. But I don't know when I'm going to use it, and I may not ever get to use it. But if I don't get to use it, somebody else will. But it'll be on my shelf anyway. But I'm trying my best to use the books that I bought. If a person devoted their time and gave their time to writing down a legacy in a book and leave it for us, the least we could do is use it. This is a little devotion now by Brother Adrian Rogers, and you can get it. Now, let me tell you there's two or three places I get my books. One place I get them is Goodwill. <laughs> you say, Goodwill? Yeah, Goodwill. They charge $2.50 for a hardback. And you go to Goodwill and you can find some good hardback Christian books. Another place I get them is people give them to me. And uh, some people give me a book every now and then. That's a good one. And uh, I try to find them. as a store near us. It's a Ross's store. And whoever the buyer is for Ross's, buy some good books. I bought this a Brother Adrian Rogers book right here from a Ross's store. Are you doing a commercial for Ross's? No, but I'm telling you Ross's has some good Christian books. Evidently, somebody in that line up there uh, has got a spiritual sense that uh, they sell a few Bibles and good books there. And by the way, I bought this book for four ninety nine at that store, and this book sells for fourteen ninety nine. so I bought it $10 less than what it sells for. But this is a daily devotion by Brother Adrian, and uh, we've read the 20th one way back several excerpts ago. So well, I'm going to look at right now, February 13th. That's the day my wife was born. And I'm going to read a little excerpt from Brother Adrian for that day. His Bible thing was in 1 Timothy 1 and 14. It said, The grace of our Lord overfloweth along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. How about that? Grace that overfloweth. That's like looking at a lake that's fed by a spring that runs, overflows every day. Between here and where I go a lot, there's a lake, and it's always running over, just running over. Dry season and all, it's a lake running over. It's fed by a full 
fledged spring. God is the spring that causes the lake to overflow for you and me. He is the one that does it. But how do I get to the place to where I can get under that overflow? By learning. How do you learn? You learn by following behind uh, the, what the Bible says and what some people like Brother Adrian that's out here for us that said, Brother Adrian's in heaven now. But he said, faith means uh, forsaking dependency on all your good intentions. Now, just everybody can't come up with those words. God has to give a man those kind of words and that kind of statement. He says, forsake your own dependency and have faith in something else. And and what you need to have faith in, he's going to go on and say here, uh, don't have it in your own good deeds. Don't have faith in your own senses. Don't have faith in your own worth. You uh, need to turn your back on the sin and trust God. Placing your faith, which he hath put, your sins on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus died on the cross, took our sins on him for a period of about six hours there, and it was dark, and his father had to turn his head on him and everything. So we need to place our sins where they're supposed to be placed, and that's on Jesus Christ, he took them away for us and gave us freedom. Now listen to this. Think of the grace of Christ, nailed and pierced, hands reaching up from heaven, as he says, I love you, I want to save you. Think of faith as your sin-stained hand reaching up to heaven to say to God, I need you, I want you. And when you put your hand of faith into God's hand of grace, that is salvation. It is not faith that saves. It is the grace that saves. Faith lays hold of grace. Now the faith that we have lays hold of grace. Not many people could write such beautiful pictures and such beautiful words that are so self-explanatory that Jesus came and died for us. This this is the man right here that gave his life to Jesus. All of it. Every bit of it. And he's gone to heaven. Let me tell you folks, you ladies that are watching this morning, this little book right here, the Women of the Bible, this tells about a one-year devotional study of women in Scripture. Uh, you can turn to a place on your computer called scripturetruth.com. And go there at Scripture Truth and find good books. But this book here was given to my mother by my sister. She taught it one year in, in homes. And she went to those homes and taught this Bible truth, women of the Bible. She gave it to my mother and said, Mama, I sure was glad you were there for the last two sessions that we had and her name was Rebecca, and Rebecca said, to my mother now is 93 years old, and my mother has followed the Lord since she got saved through Billy Graham Crusade in 1948. Has my mom and daddy had some hard times? Yes, they did. Were they blessed? Yes, they were blessed abundantly. A poor working man, my daddy was, but daddy knew how to serve God, knew how to pray in, what he needed. He could pray it in. I, I I remember when Daddy didn't have a car, but he prayed, he hitchhiking, and he prayed, Lord, have that car go where I'm going. I need to be there a certain time. And he'd leave her a certain day to go to a conference or go somewhere uh, without a way to get around, but with his thumb. And he'd hitchhike them. And, and, and God blessed him. I could tell you so many stories about my Daddy by faith that you can't imagine. But my daddy read good books. He read by E.N. Thomas. He read about the prayer warriors of the old days. Get these books. Read them. My friend, I want to promote this morning, WOAK radio station out of LaGrange, Georgia. You can click on to WOAK.com LaGrange and find that radio station. You can hear Brother Adrian Rogers preaching on there. You can hear the people preaching, teaching on there that you need to hear so that you can grow yourself by faith. Hey.